Well, I'm sure some of you metal detectors have had days like this where we've been here for hours and a couple of small relic finds, but nothing uh, over the top. Uh, but here, this is the purest signal I've had all day. It's anywhere between 82, 85, 87. Cast iron wheel, caster wheel or something like that. We've been digging up behind the house and I've dug a whole bunch of lead. So I'm saving the environment for Earth Month by getting all the lead out of the ground. But I really like a real signal and I just had one. Um, I had a signal high 30s, low 40s. And I just popped a second part of the plug and I found, where is it? Oh, there it is. This, it's round and it's green and then, oh, and it's got a shank and that makes me happy. It is a button, a big green button. Old hammered yeah, button. Yeah, that is really old. Yeah, that's very, very, very Holy old. Macro. Awesome. This is pretty cool. Um, it was a 52 signal, pretty solid. Um, I haven't been digging a lot in the 50s because there's a lot of trash in that range, but I thought this, that's what this was too. Um, I'm gonna clean it up a little. And it's a little square piece with like a picture of a house on it. Yeah, we can see that better now. But I'll clean it up more at home and uh, yeah, try to see what it is. So I'm still right behind the barn and I just had a signal in these bushes here. <laughs> so I dug it and it is a cool, oh my goodness, bushes, bridal rosette. It's a really pretty one. Let me get it out of here and there we are. So, you know, I'll have to clean it up, but it looks like it, a little broken on the sides over here. But this side has some rope on it and stuff, so now you can sort of see the edges. But it's definitely got the clip on the back of it. There's another giant stone uh, boulder right there. I mean, there's just rocks everywhere. That's the barn. Uh, and then the field's over that way. Um, but on this back side, we're not really finding much. We've been here a couple hours and nothing but trash. Um, and this hole is uh, this buckle piece. It looks like it has Florida leaves on it. Uh, it's, so it's got some nice design. And then on the back, you can see the teeth were hooked on. So kind of cool. Uh, I wish it was the whole buckle, but yeah, it's still neat. Just found that uh, bridal rosette right there. And it's coming out here out of the bushes. And I had a 72 in every direction in this hole, which should be an aluminum can. And that just came out. And I don't know what that is. So it doesn't seem to have a shank anywhere. Oh, 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 does that have a person on it? I just, I can't tell what this thing is, but I think, I feel like it wants to be a coin. And I feel like there's somebody's head right there and I can't tell. So I am going to run this over to Mike and see if he can see more than I can see. Seen a lot. Is, this, is there anything there? I just, I want it to be something. I know. I'm not seeing anything. It's so smooth. Yeah. What's a high? 60, uh, 67 signal, and yeah, I got me a little tiny spoon. It's a delicate little thing. So I just had a signal that was crappy but strong, and I dug it, and still behind the barn. And it is this very iron ox shoe. It's very, very, very rusted. But I swear to God, it's an ox shoe. It looks like one. So in this hole right here, fairly near the surface, I just had a straight 2122 in every direction. And I think I just found the tiniest pocket knife. It really looks like that. I mean, I don't know what else it would be. It's got the two, two separated parts here with iron from the blade in between it. It's got the end guy right there. I mean, it looks like a teeny weeny, teeny tiny pocket knife. Right now we're at about 65, 66. It is windy. Hope you can hear me. 
And uh, when I popped it, I saw something flip back down. Oh, I love finding these. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a toother. Oh, this is so cool. I love these old suspender clips. And knee buckles and shoe buckles and yeah. Oh, this one's super nice. I find it kind of amusing of how many suspender clips and uh, I popped this, started digging, oh, there it is. And uh, yeah, garter clips there are. <laughs> uh, especially in the lower half of the field down here. Uh, several garter clips, very interesting, yeah. I have a signal next to this rock right here, under these shrubberies and stuff. Um, and it wasn't great, so I started chasing it. And I think I feel it, and it feels like something round. It's, <laughs> it's all loose down here. So I'm just gonna have to keep digging till, oh, no, 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 it's a spoon. That's what it is. I feel it. It's a whole spoon. Oh, even better. All I felt was the smooth backside. Here it comes. Nice. Oh, yes. Does it say something? It definitely does. I'll have to see what this cleans up to. If nothing else, it's a very nice silver wash on it. So that's cool. It's a good sounding scratchy iron signal. Uh, started pulling this out but I think it might be a cool lock I'm not sure oh yeah look at it there's a keyhole there it goes <laughs> yep <laughs> so it is a big old iron lock uh, God, that looks old and it's deep too good eight inches down there this must be the uh, cover of course it's stuck to the iron so but neat took an opportunity to sit down here I'm tired worked at a horse show this morning and metal detecting this afternoon long day so i just had a signal that was in the low 60s and wasn't sure what i was going to find and this is what came out it is a cool buckle i mean it has this pointy tooth Looks like it was once quite shiny because of that section right there. And there was also this little guy, so I'm afraid. I hope I didn't break it. I think it broke itself. So this guy definitely goes there. And it looks like that. So that was, you know, I don't know. Maybe this is a belt buckle. I feel like this might be a belt buckle. This was between 65 and 67. Uh, it was a rough signal, a little scratchy. And, uh... Down here, uh, looks like to be a very nice uh, shankless dandy button. I don't know if that's Tomback or not. It's pretty smooth. I think that is. Yeah, feels like it. It's got a really nice texture to it. Uh, Yeah, what's this? Huh. That looks like, uh, like the cap of a soldier. Yeah, that's odd. That's exactly what that looks like. Uh, black flies. Uh, maybe? I mean, it could be a piece of hardware. I'm not sure. Cool? Where's the nail? Oh yeah, here we go. Hey! <laughs> that buckle was just in this hole right here, and then I had a signal like 1920 in this hole right here. And I wasn't expecting, I had no delusions of grandeur, let's put it that way. Uh, but I dug it because it was super stable, you know, super steady, I'm sorry, tired, can't speak. Super steady. And this is what came out. And this is a nice, 
latch. It's, you know, a little bent, but it was once quite pretty. It goes to something small and delicate for sure. It's got a really nice checkerboard pattern here on it. So I'm going to clean it up here real quick and see what it looks like. There we go. Look at all that beautiful patterning. So yeah, this was on something delicate, maybe a jewelry box. This signal was all over the place, but after I dug a nail uh, right pretty much under here, actually, yeah, <laughs> there's the other <laughs> plug. Uh, the signal got a little bit better, and down along the side, I saw something. There it is. Nope, there it is. Yeah. What the heck is this? It's got some really nice fancy on it. Hmm. Is it like a pin? Huh. Definitely like a hinge-like thing. That's kind of cool. I think that's like a brass. Hmm. See that pattern? So I just had a steady signal in the low 50s. And I wasn't sure whether it was going to be anything cool, but it is. It is this. Yay. No teeth or anything, but it's a nice old buckle. Nice patterning on it. Yeah, I don't see any evidence anywhere that there was a bar on this. Nope, this is just, this is what it is. It's a nice intact little, little clip buckle thing. Awesome. I may have finally found something. Uh, with the scratchy signals anywhere between low 60s to uh, high 70s into low 80s. Dug down, pulled out a nut. Uh, I am nut and I thought I was going to uh, just quit for the day. <laughs> it's, it's going down and uh, yeah, we have had very little luck today. Uh, but searching around and in this corner is something quite large. Huh. Oh, it's got a rim. That's always a good sign. This is huge, though. I'm not sure what what the heck. Uh, very thick and, and super condition, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see text. There's a dude on a horse. What the heck? Canada, maybe. No, Bank of... What the heck am I looking at? Oh, I see a date. I think it says 1857. Huh. This might be like a Canadian large scent, maybe? All right, I guess I see the word penny. Huh, very interesting. Uh, huge! I've never seen a copy that big. Wow. Welcome to the wrap up of another uh, metal detecting episode at the pest house. We've covered most of the main ground and uh, I think for now we are finished there. So let's begin. A lot of uh, big iron and uh, a lot of small iron, plate full of lead, bullet casings and bullets, miscellaneous metals, some copper and other doodads. Found a couple ox shoes. Not sure what this is. Uh, I do believe it goes together. Uh, but yeah, what it is, I have no idea. Mason jar lid. This really awesome padlock. Uh, big chunky iron and some brass. And it says W and Company. Old fashioned water spigot. A window lock. Not really 100% sure, but we think it's a bathtub drain. Uh, but it looks like initials. <laughs> The tiniest pocket knife we've seen yet. A couple of lantern parts. Three spoon bowls and a knife. Latch piece here with some really nice patterning on it. Uh, another type of like uh, box hinge probably. Press has found a very cool rosette. Some clock pieces. Oh yeah, more spoons. Uh, this is pewter and it's probably pretty old. Uh, it has a brass spoon, very delicate and thin. And over here is a uh, heavily plated, silver plated uh, spoon. Another Quaker lead seal. This, I think, is a uh, 
I'm almost 100% sure it's a helmet from a toy soldier. There's still some um, like lead or some soldering inside. Oh man, this is like a small, almost like stamp sized. I don't know if it's a pin or clip, but it's got a log cabin on it and it's very cool. I think I found a iron plum bob. Got this brass piece, which I think might be part of a belt buckle. I'm not sure, but it certainly looks um, hand carved. A little bit more clad coinage. Over here, a selection of buckles uh, from D buckles, maybe tack, I'm not sure. Some uh, cool pieces here. This one with some nice patterning on it. A couple of garter clips, and that's probably part of a buckle. And these two are really cool. This one's so small, uh, and this one's pretty old. Some more buttons from four holes to, uh, I think this is a Tomback Dandy. And just a couple more cool coins. Um, we got, do have a wheat penny from, I think it was 1941. Uh, this 1857, uh, that's, I believe, King George slaying a dragon. Probably can't really see it too well, but... Uh, yeah, that's a uh, Bank of Upper Canada uh, penny token. I guess during uh, some civil unrest in Canada, the banks took over minting some coins. And <laughs> this bullet-ridden, uh, I believe it's King George II uh, half cent. Um, this is the closest identification we can get to it, but we did see a bust. I don't think I have it facing the right way right now, but yeah, definitely someone took some pop shots at that. I know they use coins for uh, shooting practice a lot. Well, we really hope you've enjoyed our time at the Pest House. Uh, quite the location and uh, quite a lot of artifacts under the ground uh, with a fantastic neighbor uh, allowing us to be up there for so many days. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. Maybe we'll get up there for a couple hours here and there. Persis and I want to thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching and stay well.